Today we are making a super easy same day pizza dough on your table in under two hours. So delicious. I'm using a bread flour, but you can use all purpose flour. It will still be delicious. I'm using a mixture of mozzarella and fontina and it's so, so good. Shout out to my super talented friend, Steph Taylor Live, for gifting me this super cute apron. I'm so obsessed with it. Had to debut it here. So now back to our regularly scheduled program. We're going to start with our five and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour or bread flour. I like using bread flour because I like more of a chewy crust, but you just want to make sure you're using a high protein flour. So all-purpose flour will do as well. You're going to also start with lukewarm water that you're going to add your honey to to feed that yeast add in your yeast and let that sit for about five minutes until you see the yeast develop and there will be a white kind of foam on top of your liquid Add your salt and your yeast mixture and your olive oil to your flour mixture and combine that well until fully incorporated. It's gonna form a wet and sticky dough. You're then gonna transfer that to your work surface if you're doing it by hand that you can lightly flour and you're gonna need that for about five to 10 minutes until a soft dough forms. I eventually did this in my KitchenAid, which you'll see, but I just kind of wanted to show you what the process would look like if you were doing it by hand. You might have to add a little flour here and th there if your mixture is super wet. If using your KitchenAid, you'll put it on medium speed number two with your hook attachment and knead it for approximately five to seven minutes or until you have a smooth elastic dough. You'll know when the gluten is fully developed by stretching a small amount of your dough between your fingers without it tearing. I'm splitting my dough in half because I'm making two 12 inch pizzas, but you can make one large pizza if you prefer. You just wanna make sure to split it before proofing so you don't deflate it. You're then gonna place them in bowls that are lightly olive oiled so that your crust doesn't dry out. Cover that and let that sit countertop in a warm room for about two hours. You want it to double in size. While we're waiting for the proof, let's make our simple pizza sauce with crushed tomatoes, tomato paste. We're gonna add in our salt and pepper, some oregano and some garlic and onion powder. I'm gonna blend it in my blender and then set that aside until our dough is ready. Press your fingers into your dough to check if it's proofed. If it springs back slowly, it's properly proofed. If it springs back quickly, it's underproofed. If it takes too long like here, it needs more time. Now that our pizza dough has doubled, I'm gonna transfer it onto my parchment paper that I'm ultimately gonna bake my pizza on. I'm just using my fingers to stretch it out to my desired consistency and size. I'm then gonna put on my pizza sauce, not to the edges, because I do wanna have a crispy, crispy crust. And I'm using a blend of mozzarella and also fontina. I have a fontina that has a little kick to it and it's perfect, but you can stick to mozzarella if that's what you prefer. Just make sure that it's low moisture so it doesn't separate. I'm also preheating my oven at the highest Fahrenheit. Mine went up to 550 and it heats my pizza stone so that the pizza can have a really crispy crust. I'm topping it with pepperoni, but the sky is the limit. Live your best life. You can use any topping that you like. I'm gonna cut some of the excess parchment paper so that it doesn't burn. And then I'm gonna transfer it to the oven and bake it for about 15 minutes until a really crispy golden crust forms. I like mine really, really crispy and golden, but if you like your pizza dough a little lighter, you can bake it for less time. Yes, I'm using a scissor to cut it. They do it in Sicily, so I'll do it in my home, and it was delicious. The crust came out really, really crispy, and it was so good. Can you hear that crispiness? Literally delicious. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bon appetit.